Good morning. Welcome to Wake Up with Marcy. It's time to be inspired, empowered, and learn to live our happiest lives. We do this through stories of hope, celebrity inspiration, education, and resources. I wanted to also ask you if you'll wait till the end of the show because I give you a lot of inspiration and things you can use through the week. So what is today all about? Today is about getting us ready for the holidays and winter. We get some great must-have gift ideas because we all need those for this holiday. We learned how to make the perfect charcuterie board for different holiday events. Thank goodness we're getting back to entertaining. And we hear how to care for our feet during the cold winter months. We first meet Kelly McNeil from the buzzongifts.com. She will share some great must-have gift ideas for the holidays. We then hear from cheese expert Mark Pitts Tucker, head cheese grater from Cathedral City Cheese. He shows us how to build the best charcuterie boards this holiday season. Next, we meet Pavel Stepanov of Virtue Desk. He shares with us how virtual assistants are changing how businesses run. This is a game changer for you entrepreneurs. And lastly, we learn about wintertime foot care maintenance from Dr. Yolanda Raglan. Who's ready to have some summertime feet in the winter? Now let's meet our guests. All right, I'm so excited about this. Kelly joins us from the buzzongifts.com to tell us about some amazing, innovative gift ideas for the holiday season. Hello, Kelly. Hi, Marcy. Thank you so much for having me. Yes, I have some great ideas for everyone on your list. I'll just go ahead and dive right in if you don't mind. Awesome. So first up is the Uber Chill mini fridge. I love this. It's lightweight. It's sleek. It's energy efficient. This can literally go for anyone on your list. So I actually have one in my bathroom and I help, you know, prolong the shelf life of my products, my beauty products. So that's what I use it for, but it's great for a man cave. It's great for, you know, a home office or a home gym. And I also am going to give this to my college student for their dorm room, the Uber mini fridge. It's so great. Okay. Next on my list, this is for the person, maybe a coworker. You don't know exactly what to get them or a, a distant relative. I love Chopbox. So this is a company that hails out of New Jersey. They service high-end restaurants all over the Northeast. They have meat and seafood. They deliver fresh meat and seafood to your door, not frozen and fresh because they cut it that day and ship it to you. So wow. I love gift certificates from Shopbox. Such a great, great gift, Chop Box. Okay, next is Moonlight Jewels Company. They have gorgeous, intentional, mindful candles. I love this for girlfriends. This kind of sets the intention for the new year. This one is Citrine Abundance and Happiness Stone. I mean, you can find anything, peace, calm, whatever you want for your intention for the new year, mm -hmm. they have it. It's great. They also have bath salts and bath oils that are fantastic. Okay, next on my list is this company that really wants to promote health and wellness, they have the most beautiful yoga mats. This is oak and reed. Now, I don't know if you can see this pattern. It is so beautiful. It makes me want to work out, which is always a good thing. They actually have some more masculine offerings as well that I just love for my husband. That's oak and reed. Okay, those are my first four. What do you think so far? I'm telling you, I'm loving them. There's something for everyone. And I'm definitely, my son is off at college. I'm getting that little fridge. Oh, good. I'm so glad. Okay. Well, I'll dive into my last ones. Next is Fox Glove. This is on my list for my mom. These are called the Gauntlet Glove. So if you're working in the garden, these go way high up for some sun protection and also protection from thorny bushes or rose bushes, things like that. They actually have a line called Protex Gloves that is really good for people who have skin issues, hand issues like psoriasis. They are really form fitting, washable. They're a great, great product. That's Fox Gloves. Next is a company called Odin Parker. It's an online store for baby items. They have gen gender neutral items. Oh my goodness, I am in love with their little music box carousels. They are so Aww. It is a Christmas one and you wind it up, no batteries needed. Oh my goodness, batteries, no batteries needed, which I love. It's just, they're beautiful little gifts. I have a niece who's pregnant. I'm gonna give her one uh, for Christmas and I just, I absolutely love Odin Parker. They have great things. Okay, two more for you. This is a funny one. This is called Pit Liquor. Now, liquor as in vodka and whiskey liquor. So this is 100% natural deodorant. 
And this really works. Now think of it like hand sanitizer. We use the alcohol in our hands to get rid of germs, bacteria. Well, they use overproof whiskey and vodka that actually eliminates odor by eliminating bacteria in your armpits. This one is twisted pine and peppermint. Now you don't smell like a liquor store. You actually can smell like the peppermint in the pine, but I'm giving this to my kids because I really wanted a 100% natural deodorant. I use it myself. They have roll-ons. Uh, their complete line is just awesome and the products work. Okay, very last for you is this company called Pop Bag. They're made out of Italy. It is a handbag that you actually pop together. You get to pick out the handles, the panels, and you simply snap them together. There's all kinds of different textures, styles. What I love about it is I travel a lot, so I can actually bring part of the my purse basically and lay it flat in my luggage. So if I wanna switch out my handbag from black to say red, I can do that. I can actually bring handbags, lay it flat in my suitcase and look stylish and put together when I get to the other end of my destination. That's pop bag. Those are my items, what do you I, think? I love them. I mean, seriously, the pop bag, imagine not having to bring a bunch of bags that you can just change that out. It's a How game awesome changer for me. Is that? It is a game changer. And then the all natural items. I mean, really some great gifts. And it, it's hard during the holiday season sometimes to buy gifts for people and people you don't see a lot. So yes. really some great, great gift ideas. So where can we get more information? You can find more information and some discount codes at thebuzzongifts.com. Buzzongifts.com. Wonderful, Kelly. Thank you for coming on the show. Thank you. Happy holidays. Same to you. Next, we hear from the cheese expert, Mark Pitts Tucker, head cheese grater from Cathedral City Cheese. He is going to show us how to build the best charcuterie boards this holiday season. charcuterie boards are not created equal and an impressive or not so impressive board can set the tone for any gathering from kid friendly platters to small spreads with friends to an epic new year's cheese board you'll want to choose your cheese wisely head cheese grater mark pitts tucker is here to share tips for building the best charcuterie board welcome mark to wake up with marcy hi thank thank thanks very much for asking me well, fantastic. So you have a lot of delicious food in front of you. And I want to ask, what are your top tips for creating the perfect holiday cheese board? Well, I think for a few, um, a few top tips and pretty basic tips, actually, I think about who it is you're providing the board for and what their tastes are. So think about the audience and the occasion, whether you're going simple or whether you're going something for a special occasion and that real sort of showpiece board color and quality are important when you particularly when you've got that showpiece board and you're looking for some real variety there never be afraid to experiment do try something new it can be a great conversational piece when you're going around the cheese board when people are tasting cheese for the first time but i say overall look to balance the flavors that you've got you know and everyone has slightly different taste buds so something strong and something milder and something creamier are absolutely appropriate sounds wonderful so tell us about all the things that you have in front of you there okay well what we've got here is we put together three cheese boards all maybe for slightly different occasions um start off with the with the anything goes platter this may be as much a light family snack as it is a sort of cheese platter i've chosen cathedral city mature which is um, britain's best loved um, and top selling cheddar cheese it's smooth, it's mellow, it's very versatile indeed, strong enough for mum and dad, mild and creamy enough for the kids. And I've chosen sourdough bread, olives and sliced pepperoni that go with this. So I say it's much a light meal as it is a, as it is a platter and something for dad, something for me here. I've actually chosen some fantastic IPA beer. And then moving around, we've got a sort of elevated friends platter. I've chosen Cathedral City Extra Mature, it's an older cheese, it's a bit firmer, it's got a deep, rich, but beautifully balanced flavor. And when this is friends coming around, there's as much conversation as there is nibbling. So crackers and nuts and light, nib and light nibbles all the way around are probably well suited to this type of platter. 
And I've actually chosen a full bodied white wine here, a lightly oaked Chardonnay. And then moving around to the, to the final platter that I've got, it's a bit more of an occasion, maybe something for New Year's Eve. Um, I've called it the Vintage Board because I've chosen Cathedral City Vintage. Um, deep, rich, robust. It's got a pleasantly intense flavour and that lovely crunch in the texture. Cured meats and fruits are absolutely spot on for this cheese board. And maybe some dark chocolate for the, for, as the evening drifts by and gets later. And a, a fantastic wine to choose with this for me is a full body red like Pinot Noir. Well, it all sounds amazing. Delicious, delicious. And I love that you said to really mix it up. Like, it, I think it's a conversation each time I see one out, I, I, my eye is immediately drawn to it. So I think it's great for any event for sure. So let me ask you, Mark, if you could eat one cheese for the rest of your life, what would it be? Well, as a, as a guy who eats, cheesing, who, who eats cheese for a living and often in excess of 500 samples every week, and you'll frequently hear me saying that a day without cheese is like a hug without a squeeze, I would actually choose Cathedral City Vintage. It's rough, it's rugged, it's robust, it's intense, but has a very pleasant, rounded, creamy aftertaste. It's made with 100% British milk, and that would absolutely be my go-to cheese for, for, for every day. It sounds delicious. So... Let's talk about yeah. any tips that you have for us, like as we're easing back into entertaining, which I'm so happy we're doing that. Yeah, well, it's absolutely the same here in England. I guess we're all finding our feet again, but looking forward to that opportunity where we've got to entertain again. So I would say if in doubt, go for slightly less. And when I say that, I mean, go for, go, go for quality over quantity. Always have great quality cheese. Don't disappoint with your, choos with, with, with your choices. I think it's an, op an opportunity to introduce some variety as well. And I talk about texture as well as taste here. So hard, soft, blue, some colored cheeses, different tones of bringing them to the board. And please do feel like you wanna try some Cathedral City cheddar. I really highly recommend it. Wonderful. So tell us where we can go for more inspiration on these boards and the types of cheese to use. Well, there's plenty of inspiration for, for the cheese boards and the platter. And to find out a store near you, please go to cathedralcitycheddar.com. Well, wonderful, Mark. Thank you so much. With the holidays coming up, it's great to have some inspiration like this and some tips as to what we can do and make our party just that much better. So thank you again, Mark. You're very welcome. It's been a pleasure to talk to you and take care. Thank you. Lastly, we meet Pavel Stepanov of Virtue Desk. We hear about virtual assistance and we also learn about wintertime foot care maintenance from Dr. Yolanda Raglan. Hello, Pavel. Welcome to Wake Up with Marcy. Thank you for having me, Marcy. How are you? I'm doing great, thank you. So you are the CEO of Virtue Desk, and I'm excited to talk about this because this is about virtual assistants and how they are changing businesses. But let's talk about how you got to this place. You were once in real estate, and now you started the company. That's correct, uh, yes. Um, I was actually a real estate broker for a while, and um, I was one of those overworked real estate agents that worked like 60, 70 hours uh, a week by myself, you know, um, showing homes to people and writing contracts and, and basically didn't have enough time in the day to, to handle my own business. So uh, once I took a trip to the Philippines and I saw that it's an English speaking country. And I decided, well, why can't I just hire one of those people to work for me remotely so that she can help me with paperwork, so she can schedule appointments for me. And my job would be just as a real estate agent would be just going from, you know, um, one client to another, shaking hands and uh, signing deals. So that mm -hmm. actually made my life easier uh, in itself. And that's kind of, you know, I think I saw that there is an opportunity to, to build a company that would, because I saw there are a lot of agents out there. Uh, who are in the same predicament, same situation, struggling with 
catching up and getting more time on their hands. So that kind of was a problem solving. Uh, right, right. Thing. Yeah. And that's why you started the business, because obviously you saw there was a place that you needed help and others could also benefit from it. So virtue desk, like tell us how this works. Yeah, well, it was uh, 2016 where I was running a brokerage and um, the agents in my company were asking for help, for extra help. So since I was already using a virtual assistant, I said, okay, I can set you up with somebody who can help you, you know, with appointments, who can help you with the paperwork. So uh, that kind of like transpired into that. And then I, you know, I figured, well, I can make a nationwide business and basically help people across the country with the same problem that they have. And once we dug into that, we saw that there's a huge need and a lot of, uh, this is the hugest, uh, like the biggest pain point for many agents. So we decided to help them out, get their time back. Um, because frankly, you know, if you know, like in any business, uh, 80% of the activity doesn't generate income. So we just, you know, the idea is like you outsource the 80% of your tasks to somebody else and you focus on the 20% that actually are income producing activities. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. really overwhelming. You know, me as an entrepreneur, I, I think a virtual assistant is incredible. So let's talk about how virtual assistants are really changing businesses and helping others fully. Well, uh, back in the days, um, you know, it was, it, it used to be only available to big companies, like uh, usually Fortune 500 companies were outsourcing their labor uh, to the, to the Philippines, to India and uh, main, you know, main street business uh, didn't do it. So people like small time, uh, you know, small business owners or small entrepreneurs were only able to hire somebody locally, but with the technology now where you can basically have the biggest computer, supercomputer in the palm of your hand, you can outsource a lot of, uh, a lot of tasks uh, to other people. So mm -hmm. I think the virtual assistants are really changing the landscape of the business overall, uh, especially after the COVID uh, where we saw that everybody can work from home uh, and your workforce can be anywhere you know, either across town or across the globe. So, uh, but basically coordinating that and making sure that people are in the right places and doing the right work, that's what it takes. And so you vet these people and you match them and like, tell us how the process works. Yeah, well, not only that, Marcy, we don't only match them, we actually find them, we train them, uh, we manage them. Uh, if somebody wants to like, let's say, get started with us, uh, hire a virtual assistant, they identify their needs to us and we find the person that they're looking for and a type of, mm -hmm. uh, you know, personality type, skills, um, anything, whatever, whatever, basically the look the, they're, they're looking for. Once we do that, the person gets onboarded and works closely with one of our account managers or uh, we call them coaches. Uh, that works and make sure that the virtual assistant is indeed, uh, you know, d delivering uh, the productivity is there. Because one of the uh, pain points also is that uh, when you hire a virtual assistant, you don't want to hire somebody off the street. You want to make sure the person is qualified, want to make sure this person has certain qualifications that you're looking for. And you can, um, you know, check the accountability. You can basically keep this person accountable, which, you know, we have a time right. tracking software, we have a, you know, a screen sharing capability. So that actually all there. Yeah. I love that. I love that, Pavel. Well, yeah, I got to you, tell you, it, it, it's something that I'm a big fan of. And also I think it would be good for somebody personally too. If you need help to manage that house. <laughs> exactly. So, yeah. 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 Big time. Anyways. <laughs> Big time. Well, tell exactly. us how we can find out find out more information. Well, uh, you know, you can actually connect with me on uh, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram. I'm 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 there. You can just find me, Pablo Stepanov, right there, or you can go to uh, myvirtuedesk.com, and you know, and connect with with us there. And if somebody's looking to hire a virtual assistant, just go to the website myvirtuedesk.com and connect with our sales team by scheduling a discovery call and we'll we'll be we'll, we'll be able to take take care of it for you it's easier Imagine than you think that exactly yes. exactly well pavel it's awesome i love it i'm a huge fan so thank you for coming on the show and helping all of us out there thank you for having me
Marcy, appreciate Bye -bye. it. Hello, Dr. Raglan. Welcome to Wake Up with Marcy. Hi, how are you? Thank you so much for having me on the show. I'm so glad to have you because you are going to speak with us about wintertime foot care, which we could all use the maintenance because our feet take a toll during this time. <laughs> but I first want to talk about the difference between DPM and MD. So can you share a little bit about that? You know, I'm really glad that you asked that question, Marcy, because a lot of people do not know the difference. You know, they hear that I'm a doctor, they hear that I'm a surgeon. And so a lot of people just, they go right to medical doctor, but DPM actually st stands for doctor of podiatric medicine. So podiatrists are doctors with a limited scope of practice to the foot. Um, our latitude of practice varies from state to state. So for like, for instance, in Michigan, uh, podiatrists can actually work on hands. Our schooling includes anatomy and um, medical sciences of the entire body for the first two years. In the latter two years, we're entrenched on the lower extremity, focusing on the foot and ankle. Um, and we, as podiatrists, are able to perform surgeries and prescribe medications just like regular medical doctors do. Okay, so, well, let's talk about the feet and <laughs> because, and the help that you give. So let's talk about one, the most common problems that you see and also how our feet can affect our overall health. So interesting. Well, okay, well, first of all, I. I always believe this. I, I learned this very quickly in medical school, working in the clinics. When your feet hurt, everything hurts. Mm -hmm. So that, that's just that's just number one. But um, in my specific practice, um, because my practice really does focus on forefoot uh, reconstruction surgery. So the forefoot is to pull up my foot model is the front part of the foot. And so in my practice, my particular practice, patients, uh, I often see patients for bunions, uh, hammer toes, corns on the toes, and mm. Taylor's bunions. So the Taylor's bunions, bunions are usually associated with the big toe on this side of the foot. The Taylor's bunion is on this side of the foot and it's mm. called Taylor's bunion because back in the day, Taylor's used to, to use the pedals oh, the sewing yeah. machine and they would get a big corn on this side of their foot. So hence it was called a Taylor's bunion. And also I will see patients to perform a procedure called a plantar fasciectomy, which is associated with plantar fasciitis, which in layman's term is called heel spur syndrome, that, that awful pain that many people get with the first few steps. I the know, it's so painful, incredibly yes. painful. Corns can be painful. Anything that you're talking about is extremely painful. Absolutely. And the, but there is help and that's what you provide, which, which is amazing. But on, on a little funner note, we're gonna talk about how we can keep our feet looking good during the winter time, because we care so much during the summertime, but how can we help ourselves during the winter time? Well, you know, here's the thing. You know, I see this uptick in the winter time, especially with ladies. It happens with men too, of course, but yeah. especially with women. They come in and I see a lot of ingrown nails. I see a lot of fungal nails. I see a lot of athletes, but in the winter time. And so I posed this question to them when I started, when I started seeing this, I'm like, well, what's going on? Why am I seeing this so much now? And I wasn't seeing it in the summertime. So I started asking them, I'm like, are you getting pedicures now? And they're like, no, not really. And I'm like, mm -hmm. why? And they're like, well, I'm not really wearing sandals. And yeah. so I started realizing that ladies are not really doing that sort of self-care because they're like, my feet are not being presented, so they're not going in to get their nails done. And so I want everyone to know that getting a pedicure is not just about pretty nail polish. 
I mean, it is really therapeutic. You're getting a lot of dead skin and debris out from in between the nail fold and the skin. And what that does is allow that nail to grow out properly so it doesn't become ingrown into the skin. Um, the other thing that your pedicurist is doing is she, they're cutting your nails properly. So you're cutting straight across. So I'm gonna use my fingernail. You're gonna cut, they cut straight across. But when your nail becomes ingrown, it's painful and it's very intuitive to take your nail nipper or clipper and go down in the corner and cut it out. That right. can actually make the condition worse. Oh, so, wow. so, yep. so, so, so that's something you don't want to do. So what I'm yep. trying to say, Marcy, is that uh -huh. in the wintertime, please continue to go yes. to yourself to pedicures. You got to okay. keep taking care. That's <laughs> yes. right. That's right. The other uptick I see are, are the fungal nails and the fungal feet. So I want you to, so ladies that suffer with fungal nails or athlete's foot, just get yourself some sort of antifungal cream or a topical solution to put on the nails so that we can keep that at bay because fungus thrives in dark, warm, moist places. And, and that's in your feet and your shoes and your socks, there right? <laughs> Oh, well, Dr. Raglan, how can we find out more information? Because this is really important and that we keep up with this and find you. So please okay. tell us. Okay, so um, I'd like all of you to please follow me on Instagram, Fix Your Feet. That's my company, Fix Your Feet. You'll find me on fixyourfeet.com and you'll find me, you'll also find products of mine on fixyourfeetproducts.com. Oh, fantastic. So you offer products too. Well, Dr. Raglan, thank you so much for coming on. So important that we take care of our feet. And thank you again Absolutely. for sharing some really important information. Thank you for having me. Thank you all so much for joining me today. I'm getting so excited about these holidays. So what did I want to talk to you about? I wanted to talk to you about the holiday events, the family parties we're going to have, and a few things we can do if we're triggered. The first thing you can do is breathe. Believe me, breathing really, really helps. It brings down the stress, it brings down the anxiety. Breathe about five times. You wanna breathe in through the nose at a count of four and breathe out through the mouth at a count of four. Do this about five times and it really helps to bring down the blood pressure, bring down your heart rate. Also, don't engage. Just excuse yourself, allow yourself a little time to calm down and also count. Count to 10 before you respond. All right, guys, because the only thing that we can do is have control over how we respond. We want to have a great holiday season, and I want that for you. All right, guys, so check me out on Facebook and also on my website, wakeupwithmarcy.com and Instagram. All my information is at my website. Again, wakeupwithmarcy.com. I hope you will sign up for my email list. There's inspiration and upcoming guests and the past week's show. And I want you to be kind to yourself this week and kind to others. And I'll see you soon.